What the, the hell is that? A weird marionette? Is that yeah. just like... Mannequin 3? <laughs> the no. Oh God, Stop Making These Movies sequel? I thought that was just Mannequin. <laughs> You're not wrong, but in the context of the sequels, it still is the good mannequin. Oh. Yeah, dude fucks a mannequin. That's a 80s movie, kids. Yep. <clears throat> hey, duck fucks Leia Thompson. That's also an 80s movie. like a minor thing I just wanted to bring that out um you know I air, air my grievances you know yeah all that but um the other thing um <clears throat> talked about before I don't really Facebook not not a person who's into Facebook right um have it because you kind of have to have it yeah every couple days I pop in on top of that for some reason, Facebook's decided that showing me shit in chronological order is dumb. Why, dumb. why oh, would you want to do that? I have logged into a message that was taking my wife to the hospital. Um, you know, like things aren't looking good, shit like that. Yeah. To be like, holy shit, like, oh, god damn, when, this this sucks. Yeah, when did this happen? To scroll down and 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 see, like, you know, the thing come over. To, to like, get distracted, close the app, or go away and come back. And be like, oh, wait, I do want to go, like, post something to this guy's timeline. To log back into my timeline, and then see the current message of, oh, we're all home now, and it's good, and it turned out to be indigestion and all that. Yeah. And I'm like, Jesus fucking Christ, Facebook. Like, show this shit to me in reverse chronological order, new shit on the top. And I'd be like, oh, what the hell happened? And then I can look back and be like, oh, that all happened. Don't, like, give me, like, the play-by-play -play replay. <clears throat> so. Imagine it might be a surprise. Today. Yeah. Scrolling back into the Facebook. And reading John's latest oversharing oh, post. Oh, yeah. Maximum. Which was maximum oversharing? Maximum overdrive. Posted Wednesday, 5 p.m. And then doing a replay in my head of what we played that night oh, yeah. and what came up that night. Oh, yeah. For sure. Like, um, I did know when you got here. I think I started, I talked about extra credits. So, okay, John. You come over sometimes, especially on Wednesdays, and you, and you have your thing. Um, it's not always Wednesday sometimes. You come over. Shit's on your mind. Yeah. I can see that when you, you're you're looking in the distance, you know, like all that. And I'll be like, okay, John needs to warm up. We gotta we gotta warm up, you know? We're gonna we, we'll get there. Um But it's gonna it's gonna take a moment and all that. I started talking about all that. So I did realize like you were thinking about some shit. Um but yeah, had no idea like that's what um, you'd posted. So instead of like posting reply thoughts to the Facebook thread and just looking like an asshole of like, oh yeah, hey, good good job on you three days later. Yeah. You know? Um, it's like, no, because I don't check it but once every three days. Um, <clears throat> I did actually have like actual thoughts. Um, I think, have we talked about like if you don't really have a cohesive thought, like, I'm not the type of person to thoughts and prayers post. Yeah, sure. You know? Like, I have nothing against the people that do it. Right? And yeah. this isn't on the quality of other people's posts or what they're posting. This is a, this is my personal thing. I feel really fake doing it. Because it feels really fake when I read it. Sure. You know? Even though I know the people posting it, it's not fake, you know? Yeah. You can have a different conversation of, of whether you're helping or not, or even just the contact matter or something like that. That's a different conversation. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm not saying thoughts and prayers is a, you know, here's the meme, ha ha ha, you know? Yeah. Um, 
I, I am calling it out when a politician posts thoughts and prayers, because that motherfucker, you can do something. And so there's some fucked up shit going on, and your politicians are posting thoughts and prayers. It's like, no. Sure, guys. I, I think uh, you, you can do some shit. Um, so anyway, that, um, that actually had me thinking a bit. And for the nobody watching... Um, we, we appreciate you not watching, by the way. Uh, like, comment, hey, and subscribe. You know, I think I already said it once before, whatever. Dance like no one's watching, stream like a million are, right? Yeah. Um, which, put a pin in that, because I'm coming back to that. Because this is all... There's, there's shit I've been meaning to bring up and ask, and then I forget. Sure. Um, and actually, it's a testament to um, how good uh, Life is Strange is. That, like, it's kept me focused on the game, and I haven't, like, brought up, like, the other shit that... If we were still playing Dark Souls, I've been like, okay, well, while I try to run at this goddamn guy for the yeah. next 30 minutes, let's talk about the channel. And I kind of thought, like, I have done some things I'm proud of, right? I have, sure. I have my accomplishments that I'm proud of. Uh, you know, game marks. I'm, I'm kind of proud of it. Um, I wish, wish we didn't have to stop doing that. But it was very clear at some point, like, that was done, you know? Yeah. Um, but the podcast, the show, the people we had tuning in to watch... Doing the videos on indie games, um, <clears throat> doing our stuff with that. I had a lot of fun. I'm very proud of that. Code stock. You know, I'm, I'm proud of that, you know. Launched and ran a conference for five years, and that conference is now in its 11th year. It's still going on. And I'm really proud of the fact that I stepped down and it's in its 11th year. Because that was a fear. That was a legit... If Mike steps away, is this gone? You know? Because it's yeah. like... The whole point of Code Stock... Was... I wanted to put Knoxville on the map for technology. Not just for people outside of Knoxville. Like, I didn't want companies outside of Knoxville looking at Knoxville going like... Okay, we could do shit here. Like, I wanted that. But step one was just to, like, connect the people who are in technology in Knoxville with each other. Um... And I felt like, man, if I stop doing code stock and it goes away, what the fuck did I do? You know? Yeah. I ego stroke for five years. It's, it's a little hard on myself, but that's the way I would feel. Um, and, you know, it continued on. It changed. It's definitely not the code stock. It's not the 11th year code stock I would have had, right? Right. But I made my peace to let go and let it become whatever the current people were in charge of it needed it to become. Like, I dodged people for years when they would have a comment about the shirts changing or the format changing or whether they had this type of thing going on and all that. And I just, like, did not answer, did not engage, did not reply. It was like, I'm not going to give any kind of thing that somebody's going to take out of context and run with it. Um... Believe it or not, there was a time, too, with Code Stock that I kept my mouth shut on a lot of topics. Cause I felt like being a conference organizer, it's really hard to separate you from your conference. Yeah. Even when it's like, fucker, that's my personal account. That's my personal opinion on my personal account. Fuck off. Right? Right. It doesn't work that way. Like, as much as you want it to work the way, as much as it should work that way... It's like, no, it's always going to be the guy who runs Code Stock said some shit, you know? Yeah. Like, it's going to be the guy who runs Awa said some shit. The guy who's, who ran, you know, Hamacon said some shit, unfortunately. Even if it's like, dude, he can not like Trigun. That's fine. It doesn't make Hamacon a piece of shit. That just makes him a piece of shit. That's it. <laughs> you know? <laughs> um... <clears throat> and... Your post was a lot about future vision, like seeing yourself. What the fuck are we even doing? Right. What the fuck are we even doing with these video games? You know? Um, it is a thought that's come up a lot with me right now. Um, 
because I mean we've done this on YouTube and Twitch even a good amount of time. Yeah. Um Wow, there's a that a the hell is that? A weird marionette? Is that yeah. just like Mannequin 3? <laughs> the yeah. Oh God, Stop Making These Movies sequel? I thought that was just Mannequin. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong, but in the context of the sequels, it still is the good Mannequin. Oh. Yeah, Dude Fucks a Mannequin. That's a 80s movie, kids. Yep. <clears throat> hey, Duck fucks Leia Thompson. That's also an 80s movie. I've watched Howard the Duck way too young to understand or uh -huh. think about any of these things. How great that movie is. <laughs> I enjoyed the movie, but I didn't have context until a much later older Mike was like, I'm gonna watch Howard the Duck again. That was a great kid's... Oh, that wasn't a fucking kid's movie. What kind of parents do I fucking have? I shouldn't have watched this. It's a fucking... Sexual molesting duck. Which is also not out of character <laughs> for ducks. Um... So... In, in answer to all this, in answer to like what I was thinking about with the things that I've done and all that... Even with, with, with what we're doing now. Um, I never had a big vision for the shit I've done. Um, like, it's almost like where do you see yourself, or, or where am I going, or, or what's my plan? It's almost like my answer is kind of. For me, you're asking the wrong question, you know? Yeah. Like, the right question is, is what's tomorrow? What's next? You know? Like, sure. um, I want to, all right, I'm enjoying the crossing the streams. I'm kind of thinking, just do Overwatch for a while on that. Um, I have no issue with this. Yeah, yeah, and that's part of it, too. You know, it's like, you are you can just do it from the house. It's easy content, you know? Yeah. Uh, doing it from the house, it's easier to get people to play with. Plus, it, it, Overwatch has a really good um, chat system uh, in-game that works really well for everyone. So that when we get random people in and people who've never played before, or they, they're set up. You know, they don't have to go get Discord or get into some weird group or lobby or something. Like, I really need a save point. Aren't you, like, full health? No, I'm at 2 HP. Oh, no. the blue bar is not health. No. That's your mm. magic bar, and the hearts are for your sub-items. Well, take that pill. I'm close to one. But you have to drop down? I have to survive. But the dropping down isn't the hard part. Right in here. There yeah, you go. All right. Clutched it out. You go back to 81 HP? Yeah. Oh, I guess it's RPG, so. Yeah, I've leveled it's up. It's an arbitrary a times. turn. I was, I was just like, it's not 100. Not 100. I would have assumed a percent, but yeah, I see now. I remember at uh, Codestock one year, there was a panel that I actually sat in. Um, very rare when I was organizing Codestock would I speak or participate in any panels. Like, the only panel I made time for was the Women in Technology panel. Yeah. Uh, just to make sure that that got running smooth and, and not really be on the panel. Um, just to make sure it was going good. That was, like, one of them that was really important to me that continue. Um... And so there was a panel on running a conference, 
right, that another conference organizer had put in for um, and had invited a couple other regional conference organizers to. And, of yeah. course, made sense that I sit on there. And they asked a question. Like, somebody asked a question of, like, hey, I want to do a, a conference in my city. And what's the first thing I should do? And I'm the fourth in line. So it goes down three panelists, right? And yeah. their answers are all variants of the same. Well, why do you want to do a conference? What's your motivation? What are you trying to accomplish? Are you, you know... You just is something you really want to do if you thought about it and all that shit. And it got down to me, and I just said, this is going to be weird because my answer is nothing like theirs. And I did not realize it until they answered. Right? It didn't occur to me that this was a weird, different answer until these guys all had in unison the same answer. I assume by you asking the question, you know why you want to do it. That's irrelevant to me. My answer is, you need a venue and a date. That's what you need. That's the first thing you need to do. You need to secure a venue you can afford and find a date that it's open that you can do. You need those two things to approach sponsors, speakers, attendees, so that they can begin making plans. And if you don't have a venue or a date, you don't have a conference. So no sponsor is going to give you no money. Keynotes can't really commit because you don't have a venue and a date. They need that. And it's just like, that's way more pragmatic than anybody else's answer did. But, to me... Like... I I can't do shit with your... Motivation answer, you know? Yeah. Like... Cool! So what do I do? (laughs) You know? I want to help... The... Wombats, you know? Okay, great. How are we doing this? You know? Sure. Like, step one. Um, and I, I guess I kind of realized, like, from your question, and, like, starting to put these all together, is, like, that's not just me on a project level. I'm kind of that way at a life level. You know? Like, I'm not... trying to see myself somewhere in five years or something, you know? Right. It's just like, the next couple of weeks, I, I kind of want to get this, um, I kind of want to just, you know, contact the people who have been doing the streaming with me on that and say, hey, we're just going to do Overwatch. Um, also, I'm going to open this up to a couple other people who might be interested in jumping in on the stream, who have low channels as well. Um, so it's not always our two channels uh, doing it, um, and and not to to worry or, or just you know get that out. I just want to get out in front of it so they don't feel like I'm not inviting them. Um, it's like I got six slots on the team, um, but that's the reason for Overwatch too. I have six slots. You know, it's yeah. not a two-player game. And it's like, well, shit. John's gonna be here tonight, you know? And it's like, I got a two-player game, but I kind of have to kick John because if I kick the other person, then we're not crossing the streams. Right. Or they have two hosts on their show. Um, and plus just a lot of people play in, like, Overwatch, you know? It's it's a pretty well-liked game that has a lot of different ways you can play it. Um, that a lot of people can enjoy. Um, the, the Ender Panda plays that we played with last night, Hathril, who's the son of, um, Patrick from, uh, Hero Power. Like, he doesn't want, he's not a competitive person. Um, I played some unknown, player unknown battlegrounds with him the other night, and that's a very hard fourth game. And, I mean, he just wants to ride the motorcycle around. And I'm just like, how are you not shot with the scope at this moment? You're making all kinds of noise, you know. Um, half the map knows where we're at. But in Overwatch, yeah, there's modes for that, you know? Yeah. Um... So, I don't know. Everything's different for every person, you know? Like, that's not obviously going to work. I can't 
subscribe to that. I mean, part of part of the reason that that works for me is I don't have any belief in a fate or higher power or god or anything like that. That's not sure. something I carry around. Um, so I'm not expecting any kind of grander meaning. It is kind of random atoms collided at some point and we're fucking here and that's the fucking answer and that's it. And it's like so we're gonna focus on next week, right? Because there ain't nothing else. There's there's next week. That's it. That's all there is. There's next week, you know? Right. Um... I think you can. Why? Why does? Uh, why? Why do, is wearing sunglasses taking my intelligence down? I mean, is it because I'm indoors? Is that? Is that what they're trying to say? Anyway, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Is it night? Are you wearing your sunglasses at night? So I can. So I can. See yeah. It? So you can. So you can. Because that might be it.